NASA recently confirmed that asteroid Bennu, one of our solar system's two most hazardous asteroids, is on a collision course with Earth. Although the space agency is doing everything possible to prevent this collision, there's a 1 in 1,750 chance that the asteroid will strike on September 24, 2182. When this 150-meter-wide asteroid hits, it could release 1 2,000 megatons of energy, 24 times more intense than the most powerful nuclear weapon ever built. Can Earth survive asteroid Bennu's collision? What preventative measures is NASA taking to change our predicted future? Let's get to the bottom of it. Asteroids are rocky remnants of material left over from the solar system's formation and its planets around 4.6 billion years ago. Most asteroids come from the main asteroid belt located between Mars and Jupiter and orbit the Sun in highly flattened or elliptical circles, often rotating erratically, tumbling and falling through space. There are over one million asteroids in the solar system. Since most of them are near Jupiter, the gas giant's massive gravitational influence sends them hurtling through space in random directions, including the inner solar system. Although scientists acknowledged the existence of meteors and asteroids, they never really considered them a threat until 2013, when a meteor came crashing into Russia's Ural Mountains. The sudden meteor impact injured at least 500 people as the shockwave blew out windows and buildings. The meteor was 59 feet in diameter and weighed around 9,100 tons. Now, imagine what would happen if an asteroid almost three times the size of Russia's meteor strikes Earth. The impact would be so massive that it may divide continents, changing the face of the Earth forever. NASA has confirmed that asteroid Bennu may collide with Earth 159 years from now, in 2182, but the chance of that happening right now is 1 in 2,700. However, scientists fear by 2030, there will be a 1 in 1,750 possibility of Bennu smashing into Earth. While the risk may sound small, it is almost twice as likely as someone finding a four-leaf clover, 1 in 5,000, or over five times as someone being struck by lightning, one in 15,300. But these things do happen, no matter how small the possibility. Bennu is only 1 20th the size of the asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs, but it will still be powerful enough to knock down several cities, leaving a four mile wide crater. And since asteroid Bennu has been a threat to our existence for several years, scientists at NASA have been watching it closely. They even sent a spacecraft to collect samples from the asteroid surface to help understand its makeup. The sample collection was made possible by the OSIRIS-REx mission, which set out for a two-year cruise to Bennu in September 2016 and entered into orbit around the spinning top-shaped rock in December 2018. When NASA's OSIRIS-REx mission was launched in 2008, Bennu stood out from 7,000 near-Earth asteroids known at the time. Also, Bennu has been around much longer than we have, which makes it exciting for scientists to study the asteroid sample and discover more about the solar system. However, it was the probability of its collision that made Bennu the most interesting candidate for scientists. The purpose of the mission was to offer insights into the universe's beginning and answer questions like, how did the Earth form? And why is it a habitable world? Where did the oceans get their water? And where did the air in our atmosphere come from? And lastly, what is the source of the organic molecules that make up life on Earth? The quest to find these answers began in 2016 when NASA launched the OSIRIS-REx probe toward the 500M wide space rock. The probe traveled for two years before reaching Bennu and then spent another two years mapping its surface before the mission team could identify a safe spot for the probe to land and collect a soil sample. Once the team detected a good landing spot, OSIRIS-REx lowered itself on the asteroid and employed its touch-and-go sample acquisition mechanism, TAG-SAM, to collect a sample of the asteroid and place it into the Earth return vehicle. But the touchdown wasn't as simple as that and Bennu surprised everyone with its welcome. The initial plan was to make contact with the surface and simultaneously give out a blast of nitrogen gas to kick up gravel and dust into the sample collection chamber. But when the probe actually made contact, 
the asteroid surface parted like a fluid, resulting in the probe's equipment sinking into Bennu. The disk was already 10 centimeters in by the time the gas fired. The nitrogen pressure created a 26 d crater on the surface and sent material flying in all directions, including the collection chamber. The minimum requirement of the sample size was 60 grams, but the brief yet eventful nine-second contact with Bennu sent 300 grams flying into the sample container. The sample was encapsulated, but not before some material began escaping due to a jammed flap caused by larger rocks. NASA's team had to think fast, and they decided to skip the scheduled measurements of the sample and sealed it for return. When OSIRIS-REx finally returned to Earth on the 24th of September 2023, scientists at NASA knew they had unlocked a new chapter in the history of space exploration. Researchers found that Bennu's samples contain a large amount of water locked up in minerals like clays and are also rich in carbon, nitrogen, sulfur, and phosphorus. One of the researchers on the team claims that the asteroid material under inspection looks distinct and different than anything else in our meteorite collection isotopically, which is exciting. After all, this is the first time scientists have had direct access to a sample from an asteroid they know. In the past, they had to make do with bits of asteroids recovered from meteorites that survived their fiery fall through Earth's atmosphere. The problem with those samples is that it's very difficult to pinpoint the space rock from where they originated. Discovering a space rock is exciting, but what if the same space rock decided to head our way? One of the objectives of the OSIRIS-REx mission was to monitor the trajectory of Bennu, allowing scientists to determine whether Earth was in any real danger with the asteroid's orbit. Early analysis revealed that Bennu will make its next close flyby of Earth in 2135. And if that happens, the flyby will put the asteroid on a collision course with the Earth because of our planet's gravitational pull. But the threat doesn't end there. Scientists calculated that Bennu could pass through 26 gravitational keyholes on its path, any one of which could drag its trajectory in line with the Earth. In that case, Bennu would have the greatest chance of smashing into Earth on September 24, 2182. However, by 2021, NASA changed its prediction and announced that only two of those keyholes remained viable after a thorough analysis. But what happens if either of those keyholes actually ends up dragging Bennu's trajectory in line with our own? Would that be the end of everything? Probably not. Scientists have considered several scenarios in which they can deflect the trajectory of a comet or asteroid and prevent it from striking Earth. And NASA is prepared to do what is necessary if the time comes. One proposed solution is kinetic impact. This technique requires hitting an asteroid with enough force to alter its orbit around the sun so it's no longer on a collision course with Earth. However, mobilizing a kinetic impactor might not work on asteroids made of loose piles of rubble. Another idea is to use a gravity tractor asteroid deflection method. This one is courtesy of Star Wars. In this technique, a robotic probe would meet up with a space rock and accompany it for a few months, maybe years. Over time, the probe's gravity would alter the asteroid's orbit, redirecting it on a new path away from Earth. The larger the probe, the stronger its gravitational pull will be, and the faster the orbit will move. However, since both these techniques haven't been tested, we can't be sure if they will work. But there's one technology available to us right now in case scientists spot a hazardous space rock at the last minute. And that is a nuclear bomb. We could design a rocket armed with a warhead that could launch from a regular launch pad within a relatively short period. The best way to deflect an asteroid would be to detonate the weapon a few hundred feet away from the surface so it doesn't interact with the asteroid directly. If executed correctly, the explosion would rip away the rock's surface in space and alter its current path. Do you think Bennu is a real threat to our existence, or do we have enough years to change the future in our favor? Tell us your opinions in the comments below. Smash the like button, subscribe to our channel, and press the notification bell for more videos.